spring that hums the thing first, shall we? You can see I've done the, I've done the, the shed a bit more. A little fence back there, there'll be some bushes in front of it. There's a vent on top of that roof there, on top of the boiler house. Uh, unbelievable. Just run this through the scene and see I've been doing some grassing and all the, all the painting I've been doing on the uh, warehouse. It's all pretty much finished, the painting on the outside anyway. I've packed it with a mount card in the windows so I don't really like the reflective uh, plastic that people put in. It's not like we need to see through it anyway. It's because static grass has got everywhere and all the residue on the bloody rails and stuff like that. That in the side, I think. Anyway, look at this nice wall. It's grey now. And the captain on this. Capping, it's got capped, capping, and there's grass on the bank, and there's a canal bank there, so don't just have to know when the resin didn't dry. Pulled it up, and the only thing that dried in it was a looking elbow. The static grass gets everywhere. It is amazing. I'm trying to find the switch for the right point, there we go. <laughs> it's a nice little seam through there. Still, the last couple of times on these points, I've tried to clean them a bit, but see what happens. Look at that. Should have got this get in without cutting out. Part that there. I'll select five on this controller. Five. And that should be the either that's hiding through the tunnel there. Oh, I've got fiddle yards. Got fiddle yards there, and I've done the, the like frontage boards that go on the front so you can't see what's in the fiddle yard. But everybody I know always looks in the fiddle yards anyway, just sneaks around the side. It's kind of like see what they've done in the fiddle yard, it's really good, fiddle yards. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's pretty short as you can see. It's long enough for what I need it to be. But it's not a euphemism, I'm talking about the fiddle yards. <clears throat> Let's see what happens then. I'm just going to run this one through slowly initially. Give it a toot. All right, calm down. And there's the Isaac. This has got the horn, the uh, Bluetooth decoder in it, but I'm controlling that on the controller because it's easier. I'm on the when I'm filming. So this hasn't got automatic brake screw or anything like that. Still good though. This has got the um, standard two sound file on it. Mm, I'm confused. Yep. Well, so the fiddle yards. 80 centimetres, yeah, well, my boards are 80 centimetres long. 
that should be just long enough to have the train with the brake van and five little wagons and what I'll do on this layout is shunt this in do some running around moving the brake vans moving the brake van from one end to the other dropping off the wagons and picking up the fresh wagons from this side in here there'll be three wagons there we'll take three off the train put three there after the for um or um, going into the factory and he'll reform his train and he'll pull back out just like that one did then and we'll uh, take the wagons into the factory sidings do some shunting hopefully it'll be three different wagons that come back out and they'll be put in the siding ready to be taken away and then we repeat the process that's pretty much what's going to happen Obviously when that comes in, the engine would normally be on the other end of the train. There's obviously an issue going on there, I'm not quite sure what it is. stop about there and then imagine your brake vans on this end you'd have to put that at the other end when you leave so you'd have to shunt that off put that in the first side in all the way down to the bottom into the head shunt and then you'd come back and move the wagons around so basically take the front three which in this case would be that one long one which accounts two and the single um, con flat there and dump them in this side in here and then we come round the, through here along this track here and he would come down and collect the wagons from this side in here we will then go back again past that point and we go all the way through and put these wagons, couple them up, you have to stop and couple them up and then he'd push his train down to his brake van that he dumped in the head shunt and then they'd be ready to go and we would speak to that man there we'd clear him down the line maybe give him a token and I was going to put a signal in somewhere um, it's a bit hard to put one. Well, I suppose you could have one right next to the shed down there. But once you've got your clear, all clear and your token from here, you could go off to the main line. And I, the, there was a plan, well, I was planning to put a signal in here to control the trains coming into the, into the little yard area. But unfortunately, when it folds over, the signal is too tall and would hit the top of this building so I need to either build a signal that will slot in and is easily, easily removable for transporting and then it's being stored or we can just save the signals past the backboard there but when he's ready he'll proceed to go through there and then somebody will mess about with the wagons and move the loco to the front again and then that frees up him like a little green one or whatever's in that back siding to kind of collect the wagons from in here and now you notice that he'd be at the wrong end of the train wouldn't he? he'd be trapping himself in those sidings at the back so he's got to turn he's got to run round the train in this loop here and I'll put some uncouplers or uncouple there and there, so he'll be able to pull his train out of here, pop it in that tray, in that loop, in that back loop, in this middle loop rather, and he'll be able to uncouple and run through here, he'll go through there, underneath the bridge, up by the canal siding, and then he collect his wagons here, 
making sure you've changed the points and when you came round and push your wagons through here under this train and then you come through this line here that train wouldn't be there and then he had to shunt his wagons into where he is now and the whole process would start again Right, thank you very much for watching. I'm still progressing on the light. There's bits of scenery to do. There'll be lots of bushes to be gone on and reeds and maybe if I can find some ducks. I know I've got some ducks somewhere, so there might be some ducks appearing. But yeah, there. It's a lot more reliable in DC than it is DCC, but I think that's just because the track's all covered in rubbish from when I was grassing the area. That's what I like about this, this Hunslet, is that you can just have it sat there and make different sounds, whereas that one's just doing steam. Mm. So thank you very much for watching, I'll update you soon. You can come and see this light on the battlefield line in August, that's the plan anyway. If something terrible goes wrong. And yeah, see you later guys. <laughs>